If you guys only knew what happened over here. I'm a dude, he's a dude, he's a dude. We're all dudes, say I'm a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude, we're all a dude. Ready. to my channel. So glad you tuned in on today. Today is a very special episode. It is all about fall, holiday, and most importantly, y'all, are you ready for some football? Oh, 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 oh. Gerald, it's for you. Oh, 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 oh. Let me tell you, one thing that we love in the South is our college football, okay? So today we're gonna be doing the perfect fried chicken wings with beautiful barbecue sauce. We got some homemade lemon pepper, and we also have a sweet honey buffalo. And we're gonna also pair them with some loaded curly fries. It's about to be real good and sopped up. Let's go! So the first thing you gotta do, y'all, is get you some chicken. You can't have chicken wings without chicken wings. <laughs> So I've got some chicken wings here that have been washed and clean and all that stuff. You make sure you pull the feathers off of that, okay? You gonna be around it like the mascot, baby. <laughs> okay, you got them feathers on that chicken. You don't need that, they're gonna be sopped up. They're gonna talk about you at the tailgate party. They ain't gonna even worry about it in the group chat. They're gonna say it right then and there, especially if you around a whole bunch of ghetto black people. They gonna be like, girl, look at this. I clean mine with a little bit of water, vinegar, and some lime juice or lemon juice or some type of acidity to get it squeaky clean, okay? So what we're gonna do first, y'all, is what we call par cooking the wings. So what I like to do first is actually boil the wings a little bit and then put them in the fryer to crisp up and make sure the wings get nice and juicy and tender and they get nice and crispy too, okay? So I've got about three tablespoons of kosher salt in this water already. I'm gonna add a little bit of bouillon. You can use chicken stock if you want to, but I just like bouillon powder because I feel like it's more concentrated, but more flavor than chicken socks, and we know that all chicken socks ain't created the same until you get mad at the stove. Huh, come at soon. Manifest it. Come on, Jesus. I need it. Okay? So we got our chicken bouillon. I'm gonna put about a capful or so in there. Maybe two capfuls. You don't have to wait till your water boil. You can just put them in there and then bring them to a boil, but I just went ahead and turned the stove on. Okay? Put your wings down in there. One for the father, two for the son, and three for the Holy Ghost! Okay, put that in there, like that. We take football very seriously in the South, okay? It is very American. As a matter of fact, my sound man, Casey, he's from Brazil, and he said that he played football so that, <laughs> so that he could... <laughs> feel a little more American. <laughs> you heard that. Well, honey, you are welcome over here. So we're just gonna let these boil for about maybe eight to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna finish them off in our deep fryer. So the wings look great. I'm gonna take them out and put them on a wire rack to just kind of cool off before we fry them. You don't wanna put them right into the hot oil because they're wet. So you put oil in water and what it's gonna do? Baby's gonna have you looking like five Marsha Bill is what it's gonna do, okay? Baby, I ain't got time. Baby, y'all remember that five Marsha Bill on Living Color, baby? You gonna be looking crazy, okay? How your partner? So take your wings out. Mm, that don't look quite sopped up. But I see y'all out there on TikTok and stuff making y'all food like that. Somebody on TikTok was like, all you need is salt and pepper if you have good quality ingredients. That's a lie from the pit of hell. You know when they're done, when they start looking like this, maybe seven or eight minutes when they start boiling and they start looking like, like they need some Jergens body lotion. This is how you know when they done. But when you fry this up, y'all, that's gonna be good. This little, these little hanging pieces like this, little uncircumcised chicken wings, they're gonna be delicious. And this is actually good stock too. You know what I mean? Like you wanna save this, put it in some Ziploc bags and use it for Thanksgiving, you can do that. Cause it got chicken in there, chicken. Ooh, uh -uh, girl. Now we're gonna act like we're on a cooking show. It has the beautiful chicken skin in there with that chicken bone marrow. And you can add some herbs and spices and you have a homemade stock that'll be perfect for your Thanksgiving table. You can make stuffing out of it. You can make the cornbread and you can also make your um, stuff out of the stock. Stuff stock. We're gonna turn this off. Turn your stock off, ladies and gentlemen, and then let it cool down. Okay, hold on, how you cut that off? They back there laughing. I'm hiring. <laughs> Email us at I wanna work for Danny at gmail.com. Cause they don't be working back there. 
We're the only ones that actually do work. Casey over here is holding this thing on boom mic up. Guido, you always got a job here. You know that? Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna pat these dry and then we're gonna put these in the fryer. And I have a deep fryer here that has been preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, if you don't have a great deep fryer, you can actually get a deep fryer down in my Amazon store down below, link down there, and get you a really good deep fryer. I like deep fryers because they kind of even at the temperature, you know exactly how hot the oil is gonna be. It's consistent cooking throughout. So I like a deep fryer. You can shop through my Amazon store. Thank you, okay, to actually do this. So I'm gonna put the basket in there. Cause this can you is- talk about deep fryer safety for just a minute? Just be careful, y'all. Be careful when frying. They know who the hell, they cook over here. They most of them out there Southern cooks, they know how to fry. I just don't want them talking about you in the group chat. Period, they know better. We're gonna take our wings here that we've allowed to cool off and let the water kind of strain off because you don't want to put, put them in there while they're wet. <laughs> put something else in there while it's wet. Just put it in the basket. Now, if you're a rebel like me, I don't really use this basket, but my producer wants me to practice frying safety over here for YouTube University. And then we're gonna carefully lay them down in the deep fryer. Great. Because we parboiled them, you see they're not gonna take that long to crisp up. So now we're gonna wait them in the fry. We used to have a little place in the South called Exotic Wings and stuff, and they, also, they always, pre-cook the wings and then they drop them fresh to order. Hard cooking your wings beforehand is the way to go. If you struggle with cooking chicken wings out there, do that. If you don't par cook them before, guess what you're gonna have to do? You're gonna have to let them sit in that hot grease jacuzzi for a real long time to crisp up and that ain't what you want. You ever go to a restaurant and baby, them wings be soggy and slop, baby, they be looking like a 102 year old lady. No, we don't need that. Looking like the nursing home food. Do this first. These are looking delicious and nice and crispy. So I'll let these cook for about 10 minutes or so. And you wanna put them to the side on your wire rack to cool off. Super simple. So, hey, you. You talking out the side of your neck. ba da 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 ba ba da 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 ba 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 Y'all don't know nothing about them HBCU bands. I love Alabama because they like the number one team for college football. I know y'all gonna be like, no Clemson is and all that. Baby, Alabama is number one. Don't you talk about Nick Saban or Mary Saban or nobody else Saban. Do you hear me? Bree's an Auburn fan. She's fired today. I wanna work for Danny at gmail.com. I'm telling y'all. Okay, so if you're watching on YouTube, head on over to Patreon so you can see me make my homemade sauces for these wings down in the description box. Click that link and sign up. If you're watching on Patreon, stay tuned for the recipe. Recipe is. Y'all heard that Spanish. Here we go. So y'all, we've made all of our sauces. If you're on Patreon, you know how to make these sauces. If you're not on Patreon and want to know how I made all these wonderful sauces, you can head over to our Patreon and just Donate and be a member of Patreon. But we're gonna dress the wings now, okay? So I've got the crispy chicken wings. I've also got some curly fries because down in the South, when you go get wings and stuff at the place, you gotta get you some fries. We're gonna load them suckers up with bacon and cheese and all that. I'm gonna add a couple of the wings in here. They're nice and crispy. Take you some tongs and toss them around. I like them extra wet. Okay, a lot of sauce on there. They probably like, baby, she need a bigger bowl. I do, but it's okay. All right, that looks amazing. Look at that. Uh-huh. Get them nice and coated. Now we're gonna toss our barbecue wings, boom, with our homemade barbecue sauce. This sauce is so good, y'all. It is sweet. It is tangy. It is a mixture of, like, St. Louis-style sauce, uh-huh, and Carolina. So it's not just, like, vinegar-based, but it has that tanginess, but it also has some sweetness to it, which is great. Stir these around like that and get them nice and coated. And then we're gonna do the lemon pepper, okay? So I'm gonna add these to our bowl here. This one got a feather on it, sorry y'all. That's what happened with chickens. They be ball, ball, chicken, chicken. Chicken head. Boy, please, whatever. Okay, okay. All right. All right, and then I'm gonna pour our lemon pepper sauce on there. This is really good. If you was watching on Patreon, you know. <laughs> what it took to make this sauce, y'all. I don't wanna dress them like too much. I like a dry lemon pepper sometimes and I like a wet lemon pepper sometimes. Some people like it wet, some people like it dry. But, uh, all right, if you wanna feel like a brutal pad going in and out, then hey, you do that. <laughs> mm. 
viewer discretion is advised. Let's toss this around. Maybe that's what will help. If you get tossed around some, like this chicken, that'll help you. And I like to also finish with a little bit of this homemade lemon zest, okay? And put that on there. We finishing it with something dry. Now we gonna plate these things up. We're gonna start with our barbecue at the bottom. This right here, take your time and build your wing tower. If you like flats, you can put them at the bottom, you can put them at the top, but we're gonna start out with the flats at the bottom so we have a nice surface. So we're gonna fill the middle first. And I wanna just drizzle the barbecue wings with a little bit of that Alabama white barbecue sauce because back home, this is how they do it. You get two sauces at the barbecue places. So good, love sauce. Wow, this looks gorgeous. Now we're gonna add our lemon pepper, okay? We're gonna put that on top in between some of the things. Lemon, 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 a milli, 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 a milli. Uh oh. Look at that, y'all. We're making a wing tower. Y'all see the type of stuff they got me doing? Do y'all see? Then we're gonna take our hot honey. Listen, if you need to put some toothpicks in here or some skewers, just warn your guests that you got some in here, okay, when you're putting your wing tower together. But I'm excited about this thing. We have our wing tower, and now we have to finish up our loaded fries. So I have some french fries that we fried already. They're curly fries. Down in the South, honey, we love our wings with loaded cheese fries, okay? Ranch, bacon, all that stuff. So you about to get the same thing here. So we're gonna take our fries and we're going to load them. And this is a great way to save, uh, serve it to your guests when they come over too, because the way that I'm gonna load them is in layers. We're gonna take that hot cheese. I've got some processed cheese. Get your little Velveeta or something, okay? And melt it down, add a little bit of milk to it, okay? And pour that on top. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So she my, my crew, oh! Ooh. You wanna do this in layers, y'all. We got some bacon that we've chopped up and we're gonna put this on top. Look at that. Listen, listen, listen. If you never had ranch cheese fries or cheese and bacon fries, honey, you ain't living right. I'm gonna put a little bit of that homemade ranch in between. Drizzle that on there, ooh. Yet, yeah, look at this. You could just eat this. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Put just a little bit of like parsley to make it pretty, right? No? Yeah. Okay. Wow. We got like a French fried Christmas tree happening here. And here we are. Now you ain't gotta do it quite like how I did, okay? Cause I know that we know we love to do everything sopped up and over the top over here. You wanna just put it out on a little platter, you can totally do that. But the fries, you gotta load these fries like this. And let me taste it, cause you know you gotta always taste it before your guests come. I'm gonna dip it in this sauce, this ranch. Wow. Homemade ranch. Mmm. This is so good. It's sticky, it's sweet, it's amazing. Let me get some of these fries with the bacon. I put that bacon, that bacon. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, y'all, you see how I made this? It's so delicious. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Listen now, if you ain't a part of the Patreon community, you gotta become a part of it so you can get all the exclusive content, all the exclusive recipes behind the scenes, all the recipes that we don't put on YouTube. You can head over to Patreon and get that. I almost failed, but that's okay, I'm gonna stay with it. <laughs> Tap that bell, okay? So you can get the notifications when we post here. But thank you guys again so much for watching. The full recipe is down in the description box below. And if you're on Patreon, you got some more exclusive beats. Bye y'all. Happy fall. Your guests are gonna love this, y'all. This is gonna be epic. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs>